Recently, a roughly one meter asteroid named 2024 RW1 struck Earth's atmosphere over the Philippines. The object was harmless and people witnessed a spectacular fireball as it entered Earth's atmosphere. What's fascinating here is that the asteroid was discovered only a few hours before impact and shows that Earth's planetary defense systems are functioning as planned. When asked if the last minute discovery was concerning, this is what the European Space Agency said. This detection is actually great news. It is a sign of our improving planetary defense capabilities. Contrary to popular sci-fi movies, Earth's planetary defense isn't about getting ready for alien invasions. It's focused on locating, monitoring, and studying space rocks that could enter our atmosphere and cause damage on the ground. In the beginning of this year, we had discovered another space rock just moments before impact. That asteroid, roughly the size of 2024 RW1, delivered sonic booms and a bright flash of light over Toronto. Some reports noted ground shaking, as even small asteroids like those can send small pieces all the way to the Earth's surface without causing any major damage. While detecting these smaller asteroids just hours before impact is a testament to our growing ability to catch potentially hazardous space rocks early, what happens when the next big one is on the horizon? Enter Apophis, a 370-meter asteroid that will make a close approach to Earth in 2029. But let's first get the big question out of the way. Is the asteroid on a collision course with our planet? The answer is no. So do not let the fear-mongering headlines tell you otherwise. Apophis is not dangerous, and if anything, it is exciting, because we are going to see it fly past our planet with naked eyes. And in this video, you will learn everything you need to know about the God of Destruction starting from its discovery to its current trajectory and how it will become visible in our sky as it approaches closer. Welcome to Territory. This is your space. On the evening of June 19th, 2004, a team of astronomers at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona were looking for asteroids in the direction of the sun when they spotted something unusual. An asteroid, 450 meters across its longest axis, equivalent to about five football fields and taller than the Empire State Building. Designated 2004 MN4, astronomers observed that this space rock takes 323.6 days to orbit the Sun, coming nearly as close to our star as Venus, before heading out to just beyond Earth's orbit. That is when they realized that the orbit of the asteroid can bring it very close to the Earth, with a 2.7% chance of hitting our planet on April 13th, 2029. And as you can imagine, the space rock jumped to the top of the list of potentially hazardous asteroids. For scientists, the first priority now was to observe the asteroid like a hawk and find its precise trajectory. However, observing this thing isn't as simple as it sounds. Some years, it's too close to the sun from Earth's perspective to be seen. And there are other challenges too. Gravity can slightly shift an asteroid's orbital path each time it passes near another astronomical object. Add to that the Yarkovsky effect, which tells us that a small force exerted on asteroids by sunlight can cause changes in their trajectory. Like Earth, most asteroids rotate slowly as they travel through space. And as it rotates, the side facing the sun warms up and absorbs heat. When that side moves away from the sun, it cools down and releases the absorbed heat as thermal radiation. This emitted radiation creates a force on the asteroid functioning like a tiny thruster that gradually alters the asteroid's trajectory over time. So you see, it was very important to determine the extent of these effects on Apophis to clearly map its orbit. That's why astronomers needed to capture extensive images of the asteroid, and a window opened up in 2013. Astronomers will be keeping their eyes on the sky tonight as a large asteroid is set to fly by Earth. The asteroid Apophis will be passing by at a distance of about 14 million kilometers. In March 2013, the world watched the asteroid as it made a close pass to our planet, though it wasn't as close as it would be in 2029. The Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex tracked the asteroid for about two weeks around its closest approach with researchers at the Green Bank Telescope coordinating observations to enhance data clarity. Based on these observations, 
NASA announced that Earth is safe from an impact with this asteroid for at least the next 100 years, ruling out the previously slight risk in 2068. But what about 2029 and 2036? Well, earlier observations had already eliminated potential impacts in 2029 and 2036. As such, the asteroid has been removed from the Century Impact Risk Table, setting the stage for significant scientific opportunities when it arrives close to the Earth in 2029. And that brings us to the actual must-see event on Friday, April 13, 2029. As of now, Apophis is in a part of the sky that is not observable from Earth, and it will remain so until we see it again in 2029. It will first appear as a tiny dot in the night sky, reminiscent of what the dinosaurs might have seen with the Chicxulub asteroid. As it approaches for its flyby, this dot will grow gradually brighter, becoming visible to the naked eye. And on that fateful day, this massive asteroid will become the first known asteroid of this size to pass between Earth's geostationary satellites and the Atlantic Ocean, making its closest approach ever recorded. When Apophis passes by Earth, we can witness it from these places, the Atlantic, Europe, Africa, and Asia. The 2029 near miss of the asteroid presents a unique chance for exploration, and NASA is already planning a spacecraft mission to intercept it. This encounter is considered an ideal moment to gather insights on planetary defense and observe how an asteroid behaves when passing close to a massive gravitational body, like Earth. Scientists anticipate that the god of destruction might experience significant stress, potentially causing asteroid quakes and landslides. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission made history by returning the first samples from asteroid Bennu to Earth. With the spacecraft still in excellent condition and a quarter of its fuel remaining, NASA has now redirected it towards Apophis. The spacecraft has been renamed to OSIRIS APEX, which stands for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, and Security Apophis Explorer, and it is set to arrive at the asteroid in April 2029, just as it makes its close approach to Earth. But if things shape up, that NASA mission could be joined by a host of little satellites during its rendezvous. Under the Neolite project, a team of scientists has revealed three concepts for such spacecraft. Each of the suggested satellites will aim to exploit this asteroid passage because Earth experiences just one such event every millennium. What's the goal, you ask? To collect data that could help scientists better understand the solar system and perhaps even aid in the development of defense measures against dangerous asteroids. So in summary, mark your calendars for April 13th, 2029, when asteroid Apophis will safely zoom past our planet. This eagerly awaited event is one you won't want to miss. And once again, ignore the fear-mongering headlines, because the asteroid is not going to hit Earth. That's all for today. If you like our content, kindly consider becoming a member. Your support keeps us going. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.